an Olympic champion who put his beliefs and sense of duty ahead of winning medals. Eric Little won 400 meter gold at the Paris Games in 1924. This after he refused to compete in his main event, the 100 meters, because the Sunday race time conflicted with his Christian beliefs. After that victory in Paris, Little, who had also played rugby for Scotland, gave up a life of celebrity to return to the country where he'd been born, China. There he worked as a high school chemistry teacher while sharing his passion for sport with young and old. Refusing to leave the country following the Japanese invasion, Little worked tirelessly to help the sick and injured before being captured and dying in an internment camp near the city of Weifang in 1945. Now the authorities there have marked the 100th anniversary of his sporting triumph by presenting a memorial image to the Eric Little community in Edinburgh. The charity and community hub supports those living with dementia and their carers. Our charity carries his name because the values that we have and what we try to do are similar to his. He aimed to help and support Chinese people um, when he was um, in, in the country. Values of integrity, values of passion and values of compassion. So um, we, we hope um, and we work very hard to ensure that everything we do um, carries those values. He gave up his own career to help others, whether it be the Chinese or when he was in this country, he would have done the same. And so I think it's, it's good that people can remember that he was somebody who shunned uh, the limelight and wanted to do good for others. Little story and spirit have been remembered by both the British and Chinese people. People in Tianjin still use the Minwan Stadium, which he helped build in 1926. A sports ground and memorial sculpture have also been established in Waifang. His story is exhibited at both the Scottish Parliament in Edinburgh and in Tianjin, and his spirit will continue to inspire both nations. Rahul Pathak, CTN, London.